What's up everybody? It's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in the heart of Los Angeles and about to tour this newly constructed modern home right behind me. This house is minutes away from Melrose Avenue, famed for its shopping, dining, and its artistic community. And the fact that this house is walking distance from Melrose Avenue is what makes this home so special. This house was designed and built by our good friends at House Assure. The textures and finishes in this house are exquisite, so I'm excited to show it to you guys. This house has five bedrooms, six baths, approximately 5,000 square feet of interior space, built on a 6,500 square foot lot, and this property is also on the market for $4,295,000. Lastly, before we get in there, I wanna thank our good friend, Daniel Dehan, who is the listing agent of this property for allowing us to tour his amazing listing. Now, let's begin. Starting here, we have the wood clad gate opening up to the patterned driveway that leads us up to the two car garage of this home. Garage door is nicely clad with this wood finish. And on the exterior of the home, we have a smooth stucco finish complemented with the second floor balcony kickout design. Again, clad with wood siding, beautiful contrast. And as I go up here, we have the walkway taking us up to the front entry of this home. And in front of the house, instead of a grass lawn area, they have this crushed granite finish, a little bit easier to maintain with these cactus trees up front. Now, let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry of this home. We have a floor to ceiling, glass pivot door right here, bringing a lot of natural light in to this hallway. And off of the hallway, we have the office right here. Come on in. We have three windows on the left-hand side, bringing natural light in, chandelier above, built-in closets on this side, and this office has an incredible bathroom. So every bathroom in this house is gorgeous, starting with this one. We have a custom vanity set up here with the Calcutta marble countertops, also fabricated sink design. We have the tiled back wall here in the herringbone pattern, and the same tiled back wall continues into the walk-in shower. Incredible shower design. They use the same Calcutta marble at the entry of this shower with this curved design right here. Also, same marble was used on the bottom shower sill as well, as well as this bench. Beautiful fixtures. Overall, incredible bathroom. And the fact that office bathroom is this gorgeous really gets me excited for the rest of the house. Now, we have a hallway right here, some hallway closets, staircase on my left-hand side taking us up to the second floor and the rooftop of this home. Behind me, we have the living room area. But before we talk about that, why don't we take this hallway right here? This is the door for the two-car garage. And as we continue the hallway, this is the powder room for the first floor. I love this travertine fabricated vanity set up here with these hidden drains. Check it out, it's super cool. It's really nice. They use the same travertine also as a back wall. We have a recessed back window right here bringing natural light into this bathroom. They have a towel rack on the bottom. And let's not forget the trademark House Assure detail. Smooth stucco walls on the inside of the bathroom. Now, let's go this way. I have a question for you, Mikey. Yeah. What do you think this space is used for? Uh, like hanging, hanging up jackets. It's right by the garage door, so. It looks like a storage, right? Yeah. But you're actually wrong. There's a secret room here. What? Yep. This is like, oh, I've always wanted a secret room. Well, come on in. Speakeasy movie theater, how about that? Wow, this is really cool. Super cool. No windows here, tucked away to this closet here. We have EPEC wood clad walls on each side with these LED strip lighting, cozy seating, projector above with surround sound. We have the screen here. It's a cozy little screening room. Yeah, and even better, if you don't, if you don't want anyone to find you, you can just close those closet doors and hide. There you go, no one will know that you're here. All right, let's go back to the hallway. And Let's talk about this airy, spacious living room. Number one, that crazy corner glass detail right there, floor to ceiling glass that pockets into the walls. We'll show that later. We have the limestone floors continue from the entry all the way up here. Built-ins on the each side, we have a gas fireplace here. A Little bit of Spanish influence, right? Number one, we have the smooth stucco walls. You have your wiring right here for your future TV with the mental design fireplace here with some tiles around it. 
We have these wall sconces on each side of the gas fireplace, all custom designed by House Assure. Overall, great space with recessed lights, built-in speakers, and it's all about these glass doors right here, opening up to the courtyard of this home. We'll talk on that later. Now, formal dining room area. It's all open. It's part of the living room and part of the kitchen here. And I love the floor to ceiling glass assembly here with this industrial design, bringing a lot of natural light in. To the formal dining room area, we have a table for eight here, and the whole space just flows from the living room area to formal dining room, and now the kitchen. Let's talk about this kitchen for a second. Very sleek, very modern. I love the contrast between the darker cabinetry, light countertops here, and let's talk about this island setup for a second. It's very bespoke, very custom to this house. We have limestone countertops here, and the same limestone was used to create this grid design right here on the surface of the island. Looks like a custom art piece. I love the bar seating here. And going this way, we have a floor to ceiling, another glass assembly here with two glass doors opening up to the back of the property where we have the barbecue set up. Again, we'll talk more on that later. Your cabinetry starts right here and goes all the way to the formal dining room area. This is where you have your pantry. Looking to the island, they use the same limestone also here to fabricate this kitchen sink design right here. Dishwasher, your wine fridge. I like those knock, knock fridges. Exactly, one of these cool mealy ones. There you go. Well, talking about a knock and a push. There we go. This is where we have the mealy fridge. Your mealy built-ins. Let's not forget my personal favorite, espresso maker. And going this way, this is where we have the gas mealy stove with one of these pop-up vents right in front of it. Overall, a very sleek, very beautiful modern kitchen design right here. Now, this whole house is all about the courtyard. And of course, I'm gonna take my time to open up all these glass pocketing doors that pockets into the walls here. They're really light doors too. They're super light, super easy. Here's another detail I really like. The limestone floors, they also use the same limestone on the outside as well. So it looks very seamless. You got that perfect indoor-outdoor feel. All right, now that we have all the glass doors pocketed into the walls, let's talk about this courtyard space. First thing I like is that how this whole house is opened up to this backyard area. Right in the center, we have this dipping pool right here. Obviously, it's not a full-size swimming pool. It's a definitely a good size. We have the zero edge all around it, complemented with this pebble rock design. You got a lot of privacy here, and again, it's a good sized pool for this backyard. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's only a 6,500 square foot lot. So this lot is not that big and they really maximize the usage of it. Another thing that again, I wanna mention, they use the same limestone from the inside all the way to the outside patio. So it has a nice blend, it has a nice flow. And right here we have this covered area complemented with these two ceiling fans because right above us is the master closet. It's a quirky little design element, but again, it's all about maximizing this backyard area. Right here, we have some built-in seating, gas fire pit, and as we go this way, we have the whole parameter of the house nicely hedged. And this is where we have the floor to ceiling glass assembly from the kitchen opening up to the back patio. And lastly, another cool detail, we have the barbecue set up right here with a little bit of bar seating. Overall, great size backyard. Again, for being only 6,500 square feet, you get a lot in this backyard. I love this covered area. Also, it's a really cool modern architecture. I mean, can we just get a look from here, looking at the house? It looks gorgeous. I love this corner glass detail, modern architecture. You really don't get much better than this. Now, going back into the house, we have the last detail I wanna talk about on the first floor, and it's this floating steel staircase design right here. And I like that we have this glass back wall that extends all the way to the third floor of this house, bringing a ton of natural light in throughout the whole house. Modern design, open riser, each thread is a single slab, and we have this cool grid design right here. It serves as a railing as well as a support for this staircase. And now let's go upstairs and tour the second floor. everyone here we are at the second floor of this home this floor we have three bedrooms laundry room and a master bedroom 
So why don't we start right here where we have the first bedroom. This one has floor to ceiling glass window assembly here with a door that opens up to the front balcony. Good size room. We have the best situated here. Built-in closets here. Check this out. I really like these custom recessed handles for a little bit of pop of color. And going this way, this is the bathroom for this bedroom. Floating vanity design with the limestone countertops. They use the same limestone to fabricate the sink design right here. Stacked wall tiles continue into the walk-in shower. Same limestone was used for the shower threshold as well as the bench design. Here's a cool detail. They use this EPEC wood clad right here on the ceiling and that actually continues all the way to this wall right here, giving a pop of color to this bathroom right here. Now, let's go next door where we have the bedroom number two, which is right here. Another good sized bedroom, another floor to ceiling glass assembly with a door opening up to the balcony. In fact, let's go check that out real quick. This balcony is front facing, nicely tiled with the same limestone. You have glass railing. Again, good sized balcony that complements these two bedrooms right here. Now, every single bathroom in this house is so unique, so creative, and this one is no exception. We have the vanity design here, again, with the same limestone countertops, fabricated sink, some industrial elements with this mirror design here, and this brick look tile back wall here with a vertical stack design, giving it some industrial element. Let's not forget the walk-in shower, again, limestone walls, rain head, handheld, and lastly, the smooth stucco walls. I gotta ask you, is that is that like a real brick or is that like a paneling? Actually, Mikey, it gives it away right here. You can see that it's a small, slim tile with a brick look on the front. Okay, but it's, yeah, it still feels just like brick. It feels like brick, but it's lighter, easier to install. Yeah. There you go. Now, that wraps our tour for the second bedroom. Right next door is the laundry room. Let me turn on the lights for you guys. Come on in. We have the opening for washer and dryer right here. And as we go this way, this is where we have the cabinetry, even in the laundry room. Check out this countertop with a fabricated sink design, back wall. Let's not forget, look at the door. Never seen such a cool door for a laundry room. Steel door for a laundry room. I mean, come on, that's unique. Exactly. Bedroom number three. This one is staged as a kid's room. Again, plenty of space, built-in closets on this side. And this is where we have the in-suite bathroom. For this bedroom, same limestone floors. We have a nice marble back wall here with a freestanding tub design, but you still get your handhelds on this side. Smooth stucco walls. I like this chisel countertop edge right here to give it a little, you know, unique taste. Now, let's go back out to the hallway and let's check out the master bedroom. It's a good one. Actually, before you guys come in, another glass door assembly. To the master, I mean, this is a pretty dreamy master bedroom. Look at the size of this room. This is a king size bed. I love the EPEC wood clad wall design that they did behind the bed here. Light fixtures on each side of the bed coming down from the ceiling. Overall, a great size room. And going this way, this bedroom gets a balcony. Of course, with these glass doors that pockets into the walls. So let's open that up real quick. Also, this balcony is nicely tiled, glass railing, and from here, you can look down on your courtyard area, which is really cool. Jump in that pool. I know, the whole house is super inviting, super warm, it's all open. Now, let's continue our tour in this master suite. On my right-hand side, we have the closet number one. Super clean, minimalist design. Everything is nicely paneled. We have the LED strip lighting, hangers, upper cabinets, lower drawers. You have it all. Good size walk-in closet. Again, this is the first one. We have another one to see. Going this way, this is like a little bit of a seating area for the master bedroom. Complemented with this window assembly here and a planter bringing natural light into this area. On my left-hand side, we have the wet bar with a sink and some open shelving. Going this way, on my left-hand side, we have floor to ceiling, glass panels bringing natural light in to the master bathroom. Now, we're gonna take our time and talk about this island vanity setup here. This is super cool. Travertine countertops. Check this out. I actually didn't even realize those were sinks until now. And here's another cool detail, Mike. You ready? So they're touch also. So as long as you leave it on. And motion. And motion, I guess. 
Well, there you go, you're right. It's also motion. It has a little bit of everything. Even we learn new things as we tour these houses. That's right. All right, we have the vanity set up here, plenty of storage, and going this way, we have the same travertine as a back wall here, and where we have the freestanding tub. This is not your everyday freestanding tub because this is precast concrete freestanding tub. It's a nice pop of color, it's definitely unique. And from the way it looks, this thing probably weighs close to six, 700 pounds. It looks pretty heavy to me. We have a top filler right here. Check this out. This is where you have the fixtures. Of course, smooth stucco walls on the inside. Now, going this way. This is unique. Check this walk-in shower. It's really cool. They use the same EPEC decking here. I feel like this is a shower that you will see in a luxury rental in Bali or Morocco. It's super open, super beachy. We have the smooth stucco walls right here, travel routine wall on this side, double shower heads, rain head in the center, handheld. You got everything you need. Check this out. Water closet, number one. And right on the other side, you have another one. So you got two of everything. Now, let's go out and continue our tour. Master bedroom, master bathroom, closet number two. And again, same finishes, same paneled walls, same cabinetry is here. It's all open, super modern, super sleek. You got plenty of space. You got drawers, you got hangers, you got everything you need. And that wraps our tour for the second floor of this home. Now, let's take the stairs, let's check out that rooftop. All right, everyone, third floor. We have a bit of a landing area right here. And this door leads us to the rooftop deck. All right, everyone, it's bright out here, but here we are at the rooftop deck. Let's go this way. We have nicely tiled floors here. And on this side, bit of an outdoor seating area. And check this out. In the future, you want to mount your TV up here. Well, you got all your connections, built-in speakers. And going this way, we have the whole parameter wall as planters to bring in some extra privacy to the rooftop deck of this home. Going this way, we have a massive gas fire pit with some built-in seating. Again, great outdoor space. Let's not forget these outdoor wall light fixtures right here, lighting up this deck space right here. Going this way, we have a bar set up here and a gas barbecue. Check it out. There you go. Overall, you got everything you need here. And the last and best part of this rooftop deck, check out the views. You got Hollywood Hills, you're nicely elevated. And I mean, living in LA, having an outdoor space like this is really important, considering the fact that this property is built on a small lot and it really allows the property to maximize the outdoor usage. And in fact, why don't we go downstairs and talk to Shai, who's the developer of this property and ask him a few questions. All right, guys, so we got Shai here from House Assure. How's it going, buddy? How are things? Always a pleasure when I see you, of course. Well, thank you for having us here today. We had a chance to tour your latest development. This property is unbelievable. In fact, this is actually the third home that we toured that was developed by you. And I feel like each home you're stepping up your design game a little bit, you know, a little bit better. Each home is getting a little bit more complex. Tell me where you find the inspiration to design these homes because they're beautiful. Um, really depending on the project in itself, right? You know, I can be inspired by a tour I took to France or, you know, it really depends on my mood mm -hmm. and the actual setting, the location. In some instances, you know, I can be, you know, in the middle of the block where I would say, hey, you know, a killer Cape Cod would look great here. Or in another instance, I'll see a Spanish that I wouldn't want to touch really. I just would want to fix it up a little bit and maybe do an addition. Mainly, you know, location based. No, that makes sense. You're really utilizing the land and you're making the best out of the existing layout. Or in some cases, you basically tear it down and build a modern or Spanish in the same location that maximizes the lot and brings value to that neighborhood too. Totally, totally. My, my first instinct is to look at the house that's existing over there and mm -hmm. say, hey, how can I salvage this house? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. And if it's not, then unfortunately we have to tear it down and build you know, a super cool house that's not too loud. My personal favorite is you know, doing a remodel and revitalizing you know, especially Spanish homes, which I adore. In those cases, I would look at the specific house and see the elements within it where I can preserve. Mm -hmm. And I kind of play off that. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. And it, there's another thing that I really wanted to ask you. 
In your homes, you merge different kind of architectural styles and finishes together and they work and they shouldn't really work, right? For example, this house, this is a modern house, but you have a lot of Spanish or softer finishes here. You have curvature, you have chimney design, gas fireplaces here, you have a lot of marble, but again, together they all work. How do you make that happen? And how do you see these different finishes coming together? Well, well we know if it works when the, when the house sells, right? Well, there you go, yeah, that's true. But I mean, it looks beautiful. Your other two projects that we toured had these elements as well, and they look that. gorgeous. Thank you so much. Modern homes can sometimes come off as, you know, really cold and not inviting. That's why I use all these elements, you know, bring in the stones, bring in the smooth stucco, bring in, you know, the ceramics and, and that warmth because it really creates an atmosphere that's more inviting for people. And the homes that I build from the minute you walk in to the scent, to the candle that's on, to the lighting, to the music that's playing, I want to create an atmosphere for everyone. And I'm all about that. I'm all about creating that energy. That's awesome. And honestly, your personal touches really show in these houses because every time I walk in, it's like I'm trying to discover all these details that you put in. I, I, you know, like the bathrooms, the finishes, the kitchen, little details. It honestly shows. Another different thing in this house specifically, the floor plan, right? You come in, you walk in, you see courtyard from the entry. It's all open, but you have this corner glass detail. What was the inspiration behind this design? Because it's a little unique. It's a little different from Melrose area. What was the purpose for a design like this? Melrose is a wonderful area and I'm obsessed with it. This is where I live. This is where I work. But there's only so much we can do with the lots we have. That's why a lot of people, you know, have a stigma when they look at these homes because they all turn out looking like boxes. We want to get, get away from that. And it's a bit challenging because we definitely want to maximize the square footage. But at the same time, we want it to have that flow so when I do my design, I'm very considerate of that. Mm -hmm. You know, I make sure we have a cool layout that flows well, but at the same time, we have to be mindful of not making it look tacky. And it can come off like that because there's only so much you can work with on, the, on these lots. No, I get it. And you want to maximize it. You want it to feel comfortable. And that's honestly what this home accomplishes. So I get it because as soon as you walk in, everything is opened up. Your courtyard becomes part of your indoor living space almost. Everything flows together. Um, and that was, I feel like that's a really good differentiating quality of this home compared to some of the other homes in Melrose District. All right, I got another question for you. How long did it take you to build this house? Longer than other developers in this area. I'll tell you that for sure. Okay. You know, I don't compromise. If there's something that needs to be done and a vision that I have, a pendant that, that's gonna take an extra two months to come, you know, I'm committed. I'll, I will make sure I get it. And, you know, it's little things like that that separates me from these other homes because, you know, I really, really take that extra step and make sure that that vision that I came into the project with actually gets implemented. You actually follow through and you make it happen. I do, unfortunately, even if it breaks my bank sometimes. I've been in your position. I've been in that situation where I committed to my vision and some of my flips, although I knew they were probably not the best financial decisions. But at the same time, when you put your name on a project, it's, totally. it's like your pride. It's super important. Totally. Thank you for having us here. Thank you for doing this interview. Really appreciate it. I'm glad we get a chance to learn the inner workings of your business and how you put these projects together. Lastly, we would love to see this property as dusk. So if you're cool with it, we would like to stay here a couple more hours and check it out then. You can sleep here. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, thank you for having us and let's see the property at dusk. guys so it's 8 30 p.m. right now let's check out this property at night one thing I didn't notice during the day is how symmetrical all these recessed lights are throughout the property at night they really magnified the architecture of this home we have the whole living room dining room kitchen in the same layout opening up to this courtyard area your covered patio your dipping pool I mean the first floor of this house is really where you get all the benefits the living room area the dining room the kitchen where you can entertain, enjoy this house. And you guys heard Shy. 
Although this was a modern home, he wanted to make sure to put in some of these softer touches, these Spanish details throughout the house to really make it feel homey and comfortable. And it sure feels that way even at night. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I want to thank Shai from House Assure for allowing us to tour his amazing development. Make sure to follow him on Instagram. I want to thank our good friend Daniel Dahan, who is the listing agent of this property. Make sure to give him a follow as well. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next week.